just paste it in. I know it's long. Basically, embed source equals slash v slash the link and hl. Okay. Basically, I'm forming the embed script and using that link variable. Okay. So this PHP file, when you call this function, it will spit out an embed tag, and it's in a for loop. So it'll spit out a bunch of embed tags. Okay. So now we'll save that script and we'll go to index.php and I've already have the function written basically what we're doing is in this in this uh, div that we had the YouTube vid div okay start your PHP tags require that uh, PHP file so we can use that function call the function we want let's just say one for now and here's the feed that we got in the last video so let's take a look at that and if all goes well there should be the latest video here Okay, so it turns out the reason it's not working is because I didn't actually echo out the embed tag. So we actually need to echo out what we did here. So echo embed, and I just tested this so I know it works. Echo embed, and now that will echo out the script that we just made, and we we'll refresh it, and ta-da, using that XML, here's a video based on that link. Awesome stuff. Now, uh, let's actually take a look if we make the function call that we can now call from here, if we make that say three, that will load up three of my latest videos. So you can see how this script is actually turning that XML into live videos that you can play. Okay. Now uh, let's take a look at how to do this with Ajax instead of doing it this way. So leave this file the way it is. Not going to touch it. Um, that's XML2.php. Okay. Jumping over to XML.php. Now this file. Uh, does need to post the show and the feed, okay? Because this file is going to be using post data, okay? So the thing, so go back to the beginning and, and use the basic file now. Again, I have that uh, that section here for showing, excuse me, the HTML, okay? And then uh, I have basically the exact same thing here that I did before, pretty much the exact same thing. The difference here is that when I'm echoing out I'm not going through the code and creating an embed tag I'm echoing out a JSON object of outer data now don't forget outer data is an array of arrays so I'm I'm encoding as a JSON object the outer data array so outer data is now a JSON object and each element is an array Okay, so the JavaScript to call that, okay, is going to be right here. And again, this is in my uh, document.ready, so this happens when the page loads. Okay, I'll just uncomment this. I'll go through these line by line. We're using jQuery's post to get the XML.php. I only want to show one, and this is my feed. On complete, we're going to have this function data. Data is going to be our JSON object. We're expecting a JSON object. So, the JSON object is going to be data dot data zero, and that zero is going to be obviously different if you have multiple videos. So if you're thinking, well, where did the data zero come from? Let's take a look at XML.php. Okay, data counter. So this is going to form outer data data zero okay right equals inner data which is an array as link so if this is a JSON object outer data dot data zero dot okay dot our link okay so let's take a look back in the JavaScript how to get that and that's gonna be our dot link so if we were doing this for multiple elements data zero dot title data zero dot description then we take our link and basically the exact same except a little bit different because we use the last index of the exact same uh, code that we did in here to strip it right bam right here we're using in JavaScript actually you can compare the differences between PHP and JavaScript up here is the JavaScript way and here's the PHP way almost identical right okay next we grab that div and we fill the HTML with the exact same thing we had before with link okay and if we take a look at this 
let's actually go here. We're going to get rid of this now because Ajax is going to fill this right there, right? And now we take a look at it, and this should load. Okay, and you saw the page is going to load faster now because this video is now loaded with Ajax. And if we want to load more, go into our JavaScript file and say show. Okay, we actually, if we're going to show more, like show three, we need this to run in a loop. So we're going to have a loop that's going to run uh, less than or equal to. So let's actually set a variable uh, var show equals three, and we'll set that to show, and then we'll make this less than show. Okay, so now just change this to whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> now, what we have to do here, we can't set it this way. We have to throw it in an eval statement because we need it to form this data zero. And I can't figure out any other way to do that other than eval. Basically, what eval does is it takes this string and evaluates it as a piece of JavaScript. So this, when this evaluates, will be identical to this except this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? So I can get rid of that, because I never use it. And then this is the same, and instead of this, um, instead of setting the inner, we can't set the HTML every time, because it's going to overwrite it every time. We need to keep adding on to the inner HTML. So we'll get rid of that and use this one. Basically, we grab the same element, but grab the zeroth element, and then we use the dot inner HTML property, and we do plus equals. So now it's going to keep adding on the inner HTML. So it's going to keep keep adding new embeds as it keeps going on. Okay. So now we save and we refresh, and I have a syntax error, which is why it's doing that. Var show 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 <clears throat> link link. We need to close our for loop for this to work and refresh. And there it goes, one video, two videos, three videos. I like this method a lot better. Number one, because I like Ajax. Number two, because I like jQuery. And number three, I don't have to wait for YouTube for my page to load. Now, my page will load, and whenever the videos are ready, they'll go ahead and load. So, there you go. A uh, way to use that XML file, both Ajax way and PHP way.